So tonight I wanted to come to you guys and talk about my two month post COVID update. Uh, I received my second vaccination on January 27th. So it's a little shy of two months. But I wanted to give you guys an update on everything, how I've been feeling. I'll link both my videos up here somewhere. So you can go back and watch the side effects that I've had since receiving the shot. Honestly, you guys, I have been feeling normal. The one side effect I said that was happening in my second video, it lasted a few weeks. A few weeks and that subsided and now I feel normal like I did before no residual of anything honestly I still take my precautions with wearing my mask washing my hands I still live my life as if I never got the the vaccine and that's pretty much it it's nothing to say nothing to add this is real life I won't come on here and try to hype things up. I've been fine and a lot of people that I know who received the injection, they're fine as well. I haven't witnessed anything abnormal or out of the ordinary. I've only heard of crazy things and it's not even from people I know. It's literally in my comment section, you know. It amazes me the amount of time it takes someone to actually care about what I put in my body because I would never care to the point where I'm commenting to somebody who chose to do something in their personal lives that you know would not affect me directly but can affect me indirectly if that makes sense so it just amazes me the amount of people who take the time out of their lives to watch my video not to be informed but to just tell me how everything i'm doing is wrong it's like you take that much time out of your life to watch a video you know is going to upset you you should be researching videos of your interests and not your irritation. I would never deliberately go research videos I know will upset me and then make the comment. Like that's unnecessary stress in your life. And stress kills, like you need to think about how you are living your life and why are you deliberately stressing yourself out just because I got the injection. Only way it's going to affect you is hopefully this decreases the numbers and you are less likely to get COVID because we got the injection. So it's like indirectly affecting you. It, it amazes me, the comments under both of my previous COVID videos. I just don't know who got the time to do that. And the energy, like put your energy somewhere useful. Because telling me not to get the injection when I already got the injection makes absolutely no sense. Because um, how do I uninject myself? Just because now you told me about some pyrons or some strands of evilness inside the injection. Like, well... How do I uninject myself? So if you know how I can uninject myself, go ahead and comment that down below because I know that's coming too. It's crazy and it's funny. Where I live, the actual vaccine will be available to everyone 16 and up by May 1st. So the question then comes, do I get my kids that's over 16 the injection and i'm going to say yes and that's my personal choice 
and I have three good reasons why if you're wondering what they are you know and the first reason is because I want to that's just it I want to keep my kid safe I want to protect my kid and it's just because I want to now the second reason why you know same importance as the first reason uh, these are in no order at all but the second reason why is and I want you guys to pay attention to this you know because I did a lot of research on you know this reason and this reason is very important too and that's because I want to you know it's just my choice and I'm going to do it you know your kids when they go out into the world you want to try to protect them as much as you can and that's just it now the last reason you know I did a lot of thinking praying and I put a lot of thought into this one I swear I put a lot of thought into this one and my number one reason why my kid will be vaccinated it's because I want to. I want to. You know, nothing anybody can say or do can stop me. You know, I was okay with the vaccination. My kids would be okay with the vaccination as well. You know, and I am definitely signing my orders up to get vaccinated. It's just going down like that. I just, I don't know what to tell anybody else to do with their kids and to do with their own body. But me, myself personally, I already got vaccinated. As soon as it becomes available, my husband is definitely, he's definitely getting vaccinated. He can't wait to get vaccinated, you know. It's like his number one thing to do. And then next will be our oldest. We'll be getting vaccinated. And it boils down because we want to, you know. We want to try to, you know, get rid of this crazy virus going around. We want to do our part with helping the world. And no, we don't know the long-term effects. We don't know the long-term effects. How do anybody know the long-term effects if nobody knows the long-term effects so that's all you guys that's all i wanted to come and say is that you know in these last couple of months i you know i experienced what i experienced you know right after the first injection and then i had a late side effect after the second and you can go back to my two videos and watch that to see exactly what they were but it subsided and i'm fine you know i still wear my mask still wash my hands all the time i still protect myself um i don't really go out anywhere at all like we don't do that so yeah i want to thank all my subscribers you guys you know i really appreciate you guys you know i hit my milestone i'm going to be posting a giveaway very soon so stay tuned for that if you have not subscribed please hit that subscribe button Make sure you hit that notification bell and like this video. Share it with your friends. For this video, I want you to comment down below. I want you to bring up your concerns about your kids and why you would not get your kids vaccinated or why you would get your kids vaccinated, okay? So let me know. Other than that, you guys, um, I will see you next time. Make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you wear your mask and make sure you're doing what you think is right to get rid of the COVID virus. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon.